If my instructions take me all the way to the Privy Council, that is what will have to happen. Wagwan people, we're there again with some fresh updates in regards to Vibes Cartel and the current situation. And as we know, Vibes Cartel was denied bail yesterday. You see what I say? And based on the judge ruling and the explanation that she gave, the charges for murder are still in effect, even though the Privy Council quashed the conviction. So yeah, if you want a full breakdown of what took place yesterday, the judge actually break it down. You can go watch the video before that one, yeah. You see me? But yeah, Vibes Cartel will now have to wait until June 10 to June 14 to know his fate, whether or not there's going to be a retrial of the case or everything is going to be acquitted, meaning that they will walk free. So yes, Isaac Buchanan yesterday though, explaining what went down in court, also gives some interesting information. I'm basically hinting that if they, they if they do not get the result that they want to hear on June 14, that they might go back to the Privy Council. Yes, we know the Privy Council is where they got the biggest win in this case, where the Privy Council quashed the original conviction, where Vibes Cartel were serving 35 years to life. That conviction is quashed, even though the judge yesterday stated that um, the charges are still in effect. That conviction is was quashed by the Privy Council, so the Court of Appeal would now have to lay down the next step forward in this case, whether or not they're going to retry it or let them go. So yes, Isaac Buchanan in his video basically hinting that if that's the case and Vibes Cartel want to go back to the Privy Council, then to the Privy Council we go. Anyhow, I'm going to let y'all watch the video so you can understand his context. But yeah, before we get into the video, leave a like on the video and if you're not new to the channel just subscribe because i don't know so yes i only get the latest is me but yeah run up the likes so i won't get likes quick and fast is me anyhow check out the video it was filed from as early as sometime in april or as early as sometime in, in may the april may as early as that um filed on behalf of adija palmer aka vibes cartel sean campbell and andre st john um the habeas was filed after serious research, consideration, contemplation of what is certainly the applicant's belief. When my client says to me, clients, plural, says to me, under what law am I being detained after the apex court, the highest court in the land, the Privy Council, makes an order that the convictions should be quashed, meaning there are no more they are no longer convicts, they're cloaked in the presumption of in innocence, and that the matter will be remitted to the Court of Appeal to determine whether there should be a trial, and it should be done so expeditiously. From the date of the judgment, March 14th, and today being March 30th is almost, I want to say three months. I, I'm not too good at math, you know, but March, March to April is one, April to May is two. So two months. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, two months. I'm glad I'm glad I tried to do the math, you know, when you're counting in a maths exam. Yeah, so to, to May 30th is 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 about that. And um that's a long time. In fact, legislation in, in England gives them gives you about two months to consider retrial. Um something about 112 days maximum. Yeah, I do the math, you know, because when I do my exam, it's something you do it. The calculator will tell you a lie. Don't trust technology. You say, I'm going to look good on TikTok and look good on see me in a real life. Yo, the people almost mob me downtown. Because I can't control them fans, them. They almost tear off my garments. It's a good thing they don't know where my apartment is. Anyway, and I, I have to say this because it's so, it's so interesting interesting for the simple fact that what i discovered is one the decision today was initially taking place in corporate room nine but the public the media was there they represented um in recognition of the importance and significance of not only vibes cartel but the significance of this case and what has happened to one of our national treasures and and his um fellow friends i'm gonna put it like that and the as a result 
the court was delayed significantly because there was a de- um, shout out to court administrator and the under the, with Tamsi Bailey, who is the registrar, who considered and had compassion and practicality along with the inspectors to move the court because we were we you would never knew COVID was ever in Jamaica and we were moved to um we were moved to the Chief Justice Court, courtroom one, very big spacious court where Justice Thomas um puts out her judgment on the habeas corpus. Um, she did find that there was no lacuna in the law because naturally um, the parliament and the Senate, they amended the law in November 2023. This is after the date was set for Vibes Cartel hearing and changed the Bail Act. And the Bail Act now um, comes into effect, says you can't get bail. If you never got bail before, um, you can't get bail while you're on appeal waiting on your appeal or as, as as the judge says the clear language the determination of your appeal um in essence um one of the things and i'm when you're trying to appreciate law one of the things that jumped out at me was when the judge um said that the privy council must have known that the legislation was amended and as a result would not have made an order to keep them detained. So the absence of the order would be as a result of the Jamaica legislators contemplating that um, somebody who could commit murder should not get bail and should remain. And that the charge from long before I was a lawyer still is in effect by some, um, by interpretation, which I have, I have instructions to test elsewhere and that will be done so in essence um the habeas corpus they're saying that although the conviction is questioned and although the the privy council is the highest court the the appeal is not determined and so the men will stay in prison until um the charge itself because the charge is revived when the conviction is quashed and those documents that are on the court's file it still have ammunition and weight albeit it is the court that has to give the prosecution permission in the interest of justice to see if they can retry the case. So, um, that said, we proceed to June 10th. Um, what I will say is it's the law of the land and we simply have to go to June 10th to determine the issue of retrial. And unfortunately, Mr. Palmer and others will have to wait until that time um, and a determination. So when June 4th comes, let me tell you now, so nobody run me down and chase me to my car and all of that. When the 14th of June come, it is the court that has the power to say, I'll think about it or deals with, deal with it and consider liberty as according to Justice Thomas. It is that court that has the determination of liberty even though the the parliament would have legislated in November 2023 that they have no jurisdiction to offer bail in the circumstances. And so the liberty of the men are not in limbo. It's not a lacuna. And so what that the conviction is quashed, they're still, a, they're still charged for murder. And that's how law is in Jamaica. So we have to deal with it or do what we always do when litigants are dissatisfied they appeal because the process of justice goes all the way to the privy council if you're dissatisfied at the first instance the court of appeal and then there so we we will see if my instructions take me all the way to the privy council that is what will have to happen um i did i did find that her re, she she took a lot of thought to it in the short space of time and the judge ought to be commended for even um, entertaining the, the 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 habeas corpus and f- coming to some ruling and giving us ruling expeditiously. If nothing else, if nothing else has happened in relation to the justice system, is that under the guidance of the, ch- the chief justice, Justice Sykes, and I always have to big him up when they talk about delay, not so much. 
And as you can see, here is here is the thirtieth of May. Neck, not Monday coming, the Monday after we're in court to deal with this matter. And for 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 people who are not in 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 prison, it seems like oh that's just two weeks. But if you if you are in prison, you can appreciate um, the stress and the continued detention and remaining in abeyance is a psychological experience you don't want to know. Just take it from people who, when they're in America and them finish them sentence and then them say, go in immigration and try fight for stay America. Everybody sign paper and say, me, I got my yard because I can't take lock up no more. So can you imagine you have no business with DCS, but them are hot and them have to bound by section 18, as the judge said, to keep you until the court says otherwise. So make no mistake, if COVID come tomorrow and court locked till 2050 and 3012, if that court order don't come, all who is water now we're all are going to disappear, not be alive anymore. And the, the order, because it remain on the file, people can't come out of prison. And it don't matter what the apex court says about a conviction being quashed, you just cannot come out until the or a order from the court saying that you can be released even though you are not serving a sentence and the constitution from my reading does not come co contemplate that but the judge has made our ruling and if you are dissatisfied you have to um, take it elsewhere um, that's the best i can take it but as i said the mantra is god and time and when i say world boss is free I maintain the positivity and know that when we deal with the issue of the, the, the relevant court, that most certainly, more than anything, um, that relevant court is the Privy Council. And whether it is that the citizen will get his redress only there, if that's what if that's what it looks like when it comes to who you are, where it is, if if what it perceived to be. I don't think it's so, but if that's what it is, maybe the true question when we're dealing about what court we need to go to is um, considering issues like this and what justice looks like in 2024. But for me, um, the best part of the judge's ruling is when she said no orders as to cause because men are asked Christ when this the state I got half a pay because the privy council says so and we don't have to give you back any money so respect and as I said it was not contentious application and the judge was most helpful in trying to find an answer to what the clients and as as well as the de defense team believe is a lacuna in the law and come on this is Jamaica of course we're still trying to get it right okay viewers today you have it isaac buchanan there explaining what went down yesterday and what may happen comes june 14 after the five-day hearing if vibe scottel and his co-accused does not get the decision they want so yes we might see another appeal to the privy council and we know how that person so this thing can possibly be drawn out throughout the rest of the year even though um, it's on an expedition at this moment. It might be drawn out through the entire year and possibly into next year if Vibes Cartel does not get the result that they wanted. He also explained that even though bail was denied um, yesterday, there could be a case if the judge, if the Court of Appeal says a retrial, it could be a case where the Court of Appeal may um, let them out and bail as well. They have the final decision even though the laws were amended back in september by the government so yes those are the updates at the moment um yeah y'all can leave your thoughts on this one in the comment section but yeah we continue to keep y'all posted on any further developments remember to leave a like on this video and if y'all new just subscribe i'm out